she looks absolutely real, but I know she isn't. She's a hologram. I'm here to explore where this technology is going. Who else can they resurrect? What else can they create in 3D? My name is Uwe Maas and I'm the inventor of the Musion Eyeliner Pepper's Ghost foil-based system. Uwe Maas is a German-born inventor living in Dubai. He made his first hologram projector in 1992. I'm an electronic engineer, but I was always fascinated by optics. Yeah, I built the first three-dimensional polarized laser system a long time ago. Masses's invention is a twist on a Victorian theatrical trick called Pepper's Ghost. It involves an actor below the stage with lighting being reflected off them via mirrors to a sheet of glass giving the appearance of a ghostly apparition on stage. In Victorian times they used glass. With the eyeliner it's a special foil. Pepper's Ghost system is a relative simple system but not big enough for, for proper stage. So I was just thinking, what can you use to enlarge the Pepper's Ghost system? And the result was a special polymer foil. An image is projected from the ceiling to a screen on the ground before the stage. This is bounced up against the foil, which is crucially at a 45 degree angle. The image appears a further 45 degrees beyond the foil and in the right lighting looks as real as can be. If somebody sees Musion for the first time, it has the same impact than in the past when people saw for the first time uh, a cinematic uh, movie. Maas founded a company, Musion, to market his invention. So, could they make me into a hologram? Three, two, one. Even I can now become a hologram. I am a hologram. Say that again. I am a hologram. You sure about that? Yes, you silly old real person. Whoa. <laughs> the eyeliner has been used particularly creatively by the music industry by stars like Will I Am and Madonna, here dancing with the animated pop group Gorillaz at the Grammys in 2006. Most famously, it was used to bring American rapper. Tupac Shakur back to life at the Coachella Festival in 2012. Mars still remembers that moment when he realized his invention was rather more than just smoke and mirrors. I, I filed in a patent application using foil for a Pepper's Ghost system and two weeks later I got phone calls but they wanted to buy the patent and um, I didn't want to sell it and I didn't sell it so here we are. So simple to make and yet so effective. A new toy for the ad and entertainment industries to play with. Couldn't have put it better myself.